we're going to show how to turn the unit on and operate it. So come right in. Okay, to turn the unit on, you hit the top right button. It does a system check, it says system OK, and then it shows you the setting that it's at. So there's, there are three settings. If you take a look down the side here. There's relax, basis, and vital. Relax is for when you want to go to sleep and have a rest. Basis is during the day when you want to just get a regular nice charge or stimulate your organs during the night when it has an automatic setting. And the vital is when you want to go and do something like exercise. Now, for the whole body mat, you choose relax between sensitive and medium. It does not go to intensive. Or basis, sensitive to medium. Or vital, sensitive to medium. You, you don't want to go vital intensive over here unless you have something really strenuous to do. You would only do eight minutes of vital intensive. That's the basic format for the whole body mat. Okay, now to choose which one you're going to use, there's the mat, the pen, and the pillow. You use the AB button to select which one you want. Right now it's on pen. To switch it to mat, you push it again. To switch it back to mat, from mat to pen, you can just toggle it like that. Okay? You just keep pushing the button and it'll switch back and forth. So looking at the back of the unit, we have the pen and the full body mat plugged into the back of the computer. Now, it automatically senses whatever you have plugged in. It has the intelligence to know what it is. So I'm going to unplug the pen and I'm going to plug in the pillow like this. Now let's go back and look at the screen. And you can see now that when I select here, it shows the mat or the pillow. Automatically, it knows what it is. And so to, to select between the two again, you just push the AB button back and forth. Okay, now looking at the timer, how to set the timer, these three buttons down here, 8, 16, or 24 minutes is the standard setting. So if you do... 8, you just push 8, and it will show up here on the screen as 8 minutes. If you do 16, it shows up as 16, and if you hit 24, it shows up as 24. There is a way to change that time to any time you want. You can go down to 1 minute. You can go all the way up to 60 minutes. The way you do that is if I want it down to 1 minute, for example, I hold the 8 down until it blinks. You can see it flashing, and then these arrows here on either side of the A, B button... It will go down or up in minutes, depending on what I'm selecting. And I can go all the way up. If I hold it like this, it starts to increase in time. And it will actually jump five minutes at a time after you hold it for a little bit. It'll go all the way up to 60 minutes. And there's the 60 minute setting. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to see how to turn the beeper on and off. And the light on and off. That's the backlight. When you're using this unit at nighttime, when you're sleeping, it comes on automatically. You don't want the light to turn on and you don't want it to beep. So over here, you push this down, and it shows beep on up on the screen. Okay, and then if I push that, that again, it turns it off. If I hit it like that, it turns it on. Okay, the same thing applies to the light over here. The, this is the backlight switch on the left side of the start button. So the beep is on the right side, the, the light is on the left side. Okay, and you want to hold this down, like, push it like that, and it shows the backlight on up on the screen. There's the backlight on and turn it off by pushing the button again. Turn it on by pushing it. So you can toggle it back and forth that way. Okay, now we're going to show how to set the language. So when you first get the unit, you want to set it to English or whatever language you like. So the way you do that is you hold your, your A, B button down and then hit the on button. When it lights up, take your fingers off and it will see what it is here. Right now it's set to Spanish. So the way you, you scroll over here until it says EN, right? And then you hit this button here, and it does a system check, so it reboots the computer. Re the system is okay, and then we have it set to English. And we can verify that by turning it off, holding the AB button down, hitting the on button. When it lights up, it'll come up as English, and you're done. So. We hit that again, it does a system check, so it's on English. Okay, now we need to set the time of day on the controller. This is very important because the time of day dictates how the unit is going to make the, the unit work with Chinese organ clock. The Chinese organ clock 
is based upon the circadian rhythm of the earth and it has different frequencies for a different time of the day for different organs. So if you travel to a different time zone, you have to reset the time again for that time zone. So right now we're about 6.07 in the evening, and this is in 24-hour time. So the way that you begin to set the time is you hold the start button down with one finger. While you're holding it, you push the on-off button once. It lights up and take your fingers off, and then it goes right into the, the time of day. So to, to toggle through these numbers, you use the A-B button. But right now it's 1,800, so I need to go up one digit to one, hit it again. I can go back now to eight, that's much faster and then 0, and then up to 7. I can go back this way to 7 as well. I can go either way, either that way or take it up all the way to the right. Up to the right is higher, and to the left is lower. When I hit the AB button again, it's going to ask for the date. Okay, And the date is the 24th, so I'm going to go to one more, 1, 2, 3, 4, and go across. It is May, so it's going to be 0, 5, and then over to 0, 9, Go back one to nine. I hit the AB button again, and it's going to reboot the system. And that, that means the time is now set.